So I'm recording this message outside the South Arc Crown Court in London. Uh, we just had the trial of the Kingsway Five over the past week, uh, who basically poured red paint outside the Elbit headquarters in London at Kingsway, number 77. Um, we are waiting for the verdict, which will hopefully be in tomorrow. So I'm recording this ahead of time. I will only publish this after they are hopefully acquitted. I want to say a few words about the role of Elbit while I'm here. Um, we heard the term rivers of blood, uh, which was basically symbolized by pouring of the red paint on the pavement outside of the former Elbit headquarters in London. And Elbit is actually responsible for much more than rivers of blood. That's much of an understatement. 551 children have been murdered in Gaza in the massacre of 2014, known as Protective Edge. 89 entire families have been liquidated, obliterated. 17 hospitals have been damaged, eight of which have been completely demolished in that massacre. And 24-7 LB drones are hovering overhead, terrorizing the people there. Not only surveilling them, terrorizing them day and night. Um, what Elbit is doing, Elbit is the largest arms manufacturer of Israel, the greatest supplier of weapons, from uh, assault rifles to high-tech weaponry to um, white phosphorus and uh, cluster munition, which is illegal to be used against civ civilian population, which has been used in Gaza and Lebanon, respectively, illegally. And other than all of that, Elbit in 2014, which I go back to, uh, has also introduced a premature drone, a drone that was not yet fit for the market, a killer drone called the Hermes 900. And it has been uh, a key player uh, in what is called the war scene uh, in Gaza uh, during the massacre of 2014. When? 551 children have been murdered, 89 families have been liquidated. The Hermes 900 has been operated by Elbit on the ground. Every sortie, every takeoff and every landing has been carried out by Elbit staff, Elbit workers who are on the ground with the Israeli military making these um, basically killer missions, murder missions over Gaza. Only a year later, actually, the Israeli Air Force has carried out its very first solo mission uh, where the Elbit staff were present but not touching the stick. So imagine that. During the entire 51 days of massacre in Gaza in 2014, which led to far more than rivers of blood. Elbit was there not only selling the weapons, not only by proxy, they were there actively, directly responsible for that massacre. And Elbit is responsible for much more than that. They are not only responsible for war crimes, numerous war crimes, they're also responsible for crimes against humanity, apartheid and genocide. They, are, they have direct involvement in that. It's like it couldn't get worse than that. There is no company that is more monstrous and criminal and barbaric than Elbit Systems as far as the crimes against Palestinians are concerned. And not only against Palestinians, because they also sell their means of destruction to other governments and despotic regimes around, around the world. So, I hope that tomorrow we will learn that uh, the Kingsway 5 are free at last 
and I hope that in the next days we'll also learn that Palestine is free or on its way to freedom. Take care. Free Palestine.